everybody, welcome back to another episode of John's on the Rock. Uh, it's been quite a while since we've been together for a, uh, for a camping trip, but today we are headed for our first overnighter of the summer for the two of us. Yep. Uh, we're headed into uh, Green Gardens, which is a, uh, a trail here in uh, Crossmore National Park, uh, not too far from the Tablelands. Uh, it's about four and a half kilometers. Uh, it uh, seems, from what we can tell, uh, neither of us have been there before, but it seems like a, uh, a beautiful spot right down by the ocean. But yeah, it should be a good time. Yeah, so it started with a 4.30 rise for me this morning to drive to pick Aaron up in Cornerbrook. And uh, we've just passed Wiltondale and we're headed to the Discovery Center where we have to pick up our camping permit. So uh, we plan to be here as soon as they open so we can kind of ensure that we get a, a site to camp. Yeah, it's kind of a similar thing to Snug Harbor where we can't book in advance, so we kind of just, yeah. it's a first come, first serve kind of kind of deal, so we wanted to get on, get a jump on it quick. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy this episode, come along for the ride, and we hope that you enjoy it. Got our permit. Got our permit for one night. She said there were three available, so I think they're only so there must be someone else booked. I think yeah, I think there are four sites there. So four they said, yeah. So but yeah, we've we're just gonna beautiful day. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Up, so we thought we'd get an early start and uh, take our time. Yep. Mr. Hillier, would yes. you like to uh, give a little bit of a geological explanation of the uh, tablelands which we are passing currently? <laughs> well, in a nutshell, <laughs> this is a part of the exposed mantle of the Earth. It's the only few places in the world that this occurs. In geological ages past, when the Iapetus Ocean was closing and uh, part of the mantle got what's called abducted rather than subducted uh, onto the surface and uh, you get this rusting kind of rock. It's called pyritotite. High iron content is also high in other metals, but it's very nutrient poor. And as a result, uh, you don't get much vegetation growing on the slopes of this. Uh, contrast that with the other side of the road where you have forests uh, because you've got a different type of rock. You see the rock over here is not nearly as rusty as what you have on this side. So this is, this is what's known as the tablelands. And geologically, it's very interesting, and uh, it gives scientists a chance to study what the rocks are like. About uh, around, it's around nine kilometers depth. Normally, is where this part of the mantle would be would be located. So, yeah, very interesting. At least to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's at least one other geology one other. nerd watching that it's like, oh, how yeah, fascinating! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty cool. It's pretty. The rest cool. of you can wake up now. I'm done. <laughs> Back on the trail, Dad. Back on the trail. Finally. Feels good. <laughs> yeah, finally. After all this time. Yep. Yeah. Another trip planned, but it kind of the weather didn't cooperate, so kind of got uh, got axed. Yeah. But uh, maybe later on in the season we'll be able to get back to that one because that one was going to be a multi-night uh, trip. But anyway. We all yeah, our, our plans have been kind of, uh, you know. A little up in the air just because of weather and 
settling into new schedules and stuff. Yeah. We're in a transitional phase now, <laughs> and uh, I guess that's uh, take us a while to kind of get into a rhythm of some sort, but should be should be good. Hopefully the weather holds and it doesn't turn nasty. Yeah, I mean right now, knock on wood, there's not a cloud in the sky, but there's a chance of showers later. Later on this afternoon or late this evening sometime. Yeah, so that's the thing about gross morn with all the elevation, the weather can turn in a in an instant basically. Yeah, it doesn't take long. So we're about a kilometer in, and it seems like based on the map, we're kind of at our peak elevation, about 300 meters. You can see we've got the uh, the ocean now. Ocean view, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty much all downhill from here, quite literally. <laughs> yeah. How's the new gear feeling, Dad? Good. Track is wearing well. Boots are really comfortable. I managed to wear them several times to try to get them kind of broken a little bit. That's good. But no, things are feeling good. I'm just taking my time. I want to overexert myself. It's quite warm. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, with the humidity today, it's going to be like 30. Something like that. 30 degrees, so. I'm carrying a heavy pack besides all that. It's, uh, <laughs> We knew it was only one night, so we brought a few extra luxury items and yep. some good food and whatnot. So yeah, we're carrying probably more weight than we, definitely more weight than we need to. Oh, we have <laughs> got much lighter. But. but why do that when you can have more fun later? Yeah, so you have, have it more comfortable, sit back in your chair. And... Exactly. Yeah. shifted in the spring. Yeah, it looks it like it is. Where it was, <laughs> and now where it is. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't stand on it too long. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. So we've got about another kilometer and a half now until we get to the site. Yeah. And we'll see what's what and who's, who's where and we'll <laughs> lay claim to our piece of real estate for the for the day and for the night yep. and then uh, do a little bit of exploring along the shore mm -hmm. have lunch oh, yeah. it's a bit grand day Okay, so we have this is home. our spot. There's a few other spots around, but uh, we kind of looked at all of them and we like the look of this one. This spot's kind of out of the way, but we still get a nice view of the ocean. But yeah, we're gonna chill for a bit and then get camp set up. So, camp is all set. We had to do a little bit of uh, finagling with the guy lines and some paracord to get it all staked out, but... You got it? Yeah. Same setup as always, pretty much, but... Yeah, we've got... Oops. <laughs> got uh, sleeping pads and sleeping bags and pillows in there, and yeah. <laughs> all set to go. We looked around and we think this was pretty much the best site. Yeah, we checked them all out. That seemed to be the one that was the most secluded with the best view. There was one over there with a spectacular view. It was all open to the ocean, but 
it's where everyone congregates. There are chairs over there for people to sit in. It's a yeah. big field kind of thing, and it seems like where everyone's going. So yeah. we didn't want it to be. And there's another one that's kind of a bit more secluded, but it's right next to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. And there's another one that's even more secluded, but you don't really get a view of the ocean. No, so. We had uh, we had first pick at the site for today, which was we nice. Did, so. so so right now we're gonna cook up a bit of lunch. We just got some ramen. We're gonna cook up, I think. In kibasa. In kibasa, yeah. A bit of Thanks. beef jerky and yeah. whatever yeah. else comes our way. <laughs> yep. And then I think after that, after we eat, we're gonna go check out the shoreline. There's some interesting stuff down there, apparently. So yeah, that's the plan. And it's only well ten to twelve. So yeah, perfect. Sounds good. the distance in? Four? Four point two. Because there's a little bit more trail right. past that way where the loop would be. Right. Uh, this trail uh, normally has a loop that you can do from the research I've done, uh, but apparently the actual loop section is closed right now. Um, and I would imagine for the foreseeable future because of coastal erosion, I guess that area of the, the hike just isn't safe. We're gonna take a look a little bit later and see, but. So we just had our lunch and uh, we're out exploring what's the sea around here. Apparently there's a sea cave. There's a beach to explore. A beach, a waterfall, and uh, some meadows that way. Well, yeah, we're just gonna explore for a little bit. Yeah, do you want to get your statement on camera that you said earlier about the basalts or whatever you said? The basalt. Pillow lava. The basaltic pillow lava. Earlier when we were hiking in, Dag goes, oh, that looks like whatever he just said. And then we read the sign back there and he was right. So I was right. He just wanted to give you the opportunity to say that I was right. Say that on camera. That's right. <laughs> but this is gorgeous. Like, look at this. We're trying to get to uh, the sea cave, which apparently you can get to at low tide going this way, but uh, looks a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Is it from the other side? Yeah. If we don't catch it today, we can always catch it tomorrow. True. Pretty spectacular falls, eh? It's pretty nice. Yeah. It looks like it's been closed for a while, given how. Yeah, the, the trail's overgrown. Yeah, you can't even really tell. Ongoing erosion on these sections of trail have made them unsafe. Well, I mean, it doesn't say we can't hike. It just says that we accept the risks of anything happens. <laughs> but we'll we'll respect the sign.
Oh, yeah. You all know much? Have a nice drink of water now. Sitting in the shade, trying to cool off. It's pretty hot today. Yeah, it's really hot today. Catching a, a little cool breeze mm. every now and again, which is nice. Yeah, it is. But the view is spectacular. Mm hmm. What do you got for lunch, Dad? I'm having kielbasa. Mm -hmm. I'm not hungry enough to have my freeze-dried meal because there's two and a half servings in it, and it's just a waste for me to do it. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> I have some kielbasa. I got some freeze-dried apples to have. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shop the rest of my jerky. Right now. Whatever. I've got um, this backpacker's pantry, three cheese mac and cheese. So, and I'm going to have a little bit of the kielbasa, too, I think, in that, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a beautiful, quiet afternoon. Mm -hmm. Evening, really. Surprised at the end of the day, how when you look back over the day, how quickly it seems like the day went by. Yeah. Yeah. You look forward to it for a few days, getting ready and packing up, and then you you start off and you you go through your day, and before you know it, it's lunchtime. You're cooking lunch and you're cleaning up, and before you know it, you're watching the sunset. Yep. I'm just down here where the main trail kind of hugs the coast there, and you're overlooking the, the ocean. Mm -hmm. Just brought our chairs down to sit and kick back and watch the sunset and just enjoy the day. This has been a really nice. I, I recommend uh, Green Garden. It's a mm -hmm. it's a really pretty spot. Yeah. And the trail's not too not too difficult. Yeah. And I was saying I think I said it earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. I think it's the most like. Bi biologically and geologically diverse hike like mm. I've ever seen in terms of like it's only four and a half kilometers long but you've got exposed mantle you've got like boreal forest you've got ocean cliffs you've got waterfalls you've got sea caves you've got like yep. it's crazy yeah <laughs> meadows it's yeah. like you get a lot of beautiful scenes in a short amount of time yeah absolutely yeah it's well worth the well worth the trip yeah, we're just going to soak up more of this beautiful scenery. Mm -hmm. And if you don't hear from us again, then we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs>slept really sound last night i was pretty tired so i, I slept pretty sound i must have um, slept really sound because i woke up with a sore throat this morning i must have yeah. snored so hard <laughs> <laughs> i kind of did too so we got some rain last night poured it pretty poured. hard yeah, yeah.
record last night at some point. I'm not sure for how long because I woke up briefly and it was like, yeah, you know, it was really raining hard. And then it was like, anyway, I just uh, turned back over and went to sleep again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about uh, almost seven there now. Quarter two now. Quarter to seven. Mm -hmm. So uh, we weren't up super early this morning, but um, we're going to get some food here now. We got uh, pretty much everything packed up inside the tent. Yeah. Coffee's uh, the main thing that I want yes. this morning. <laughs> yeah, coffee sounds good. Yeah. As you can see, we've got uh, camp all packed up. We got our bags ready to go, and we're gonna hit the trail pretty soon. And get out of here before the uh, before the uh, it gets too humid and too warm. Yeah, <laughs> get on to go. We've had a few day hikers pass by the campsite here, so there will soon be a steady stream. If yesterday was any indication, yeah. there were a lot of people here visiting yesterday, which is really nice to see people getting out and enjoying the outdoors and and enjoying nature and uh, this beautiful province of ours so yep but yeah we've got a, a pretty steep climb out of this uh, <laughs> campsite and because uh, it was all pretty much downhill yesterday so it was all uphill today yep and uh but anyway so we're going to take our time it's uh just about eight or ten two i guess we get on to go yep let's do it <clears throat> Beautiful. It's so still this morning. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's uh, hardly a draft of wind. I saw a couple people this morning pass our campsite. Hikers look like day hikers. Mm hmm. Yeah, you haven't ran into anyone else, though. So. No, we haven't met anyone else. It's not an ideal day for, I no. guess, doing this for us. <laughs> no, we're so, pretty, uh, pretty fogged in here, as you can see. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, made All it back right. to the trailhead. Got freshened up at least a little bit. A little bit, so we're not too offensive. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of flies, so we're gonna quickly uh, sign, sign off. off. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe, maybe share it with someone you know. And yeah, we'll see you on our next adventure, whatever that is or wherever it is. <laughs> Take care. See ya. Bye bye. Oh God, so far away. Thank you.